and I thank God for it. Because God is the only one that has given it to me, is, is God. But anyway, I love the Lord, and I love this church. I believe I prove that I love this church. I believe that God knows my heart, and I know that everyone, y'all should know it. I've been here 44 years, It'll be 45 years this coming November. And I thank God for every hour, for every day, for every night that I was here. I thank God for it. But I thank God the most was when God, when my mama took me down the sawdust trail to a church. Uh, a, it wasn't a church. It was just a shed. It was just a shed. It wasn't even a church. But it was fresh sawdust. And I remember I was six years old. And I remember going to that altar that night. And I saw what I saw. And on the way, I didn't get anything that night, only God pricked my heart. He put something in my heart that night that the devil or nobody else has ever moved. And I thank God for it tonight. And I went, as on the way home, I told Mama, I says, Mama, I want what that woman's got. I didn't even know who she was. I didn't know what she had. I didn't know anything about it, but I just knew what I felt. Oh, God, I felt something that nobody can ever know unless you feel it. And so I said, and I went on till I was 12 years old. Every time they give an order, call, I'd go to the altar because I was sick in the Holy Ghost. I wanted the Holy Ghost because my pastor, later, that woman that I saw the power using that night, she was uh, the pastor, she come to be my pastor's wife. And she's the one that helped pray me through to the Holy Ghost. When I was 12 years old, she helped pray me through to the Holy Ghost. And I said, Lord, I thank you, and I thank you, and I thank you. And I thank him most of all for my, I did have six children, and I thank him for every one of them. Martin's gone on to meet the Lord, and I'm not worried about where Martin's at. And I'm not worried about where Verdane's at. God will take care of them, and I'm going to take care of me. And God's going to take care of me. And I thank him for the time. I thank him for everything. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I thank you for my life. I could be in, I could be in the shape that some of them's in in the home where I'm staying at now. I could be in some of their shapes, but thank God, God's got me. I've still got my right mind. I can still tell anything like it's supposed to be told, and I thank Him more than anything. Y'all pray for me that I'll live the life and do what God would have me to do. Thank you.